Now I want you to tell me, let's wait for it to load. Okay, now it's here. So now tell me who can start the hire employee process. By looking at this screen, you see we have this section right, who can start the business process. So who can start the hiring? The FBI HR executive. Where did you get HR executive? Here, okay, here. But that is the web service. And where do we use web services for integration? So we will not use this for our UI. So if somebody is doing it in the UI in the work attendant, so these security groups will not be affected. But which ones would be? This FBI HR analyst, right? Whoever is given this role of FBI HR analyst, they will be able to do it. And all this Motown ones, Motown organization partner, PRARARA, -A -R -A, whatever, right? So these are the security groups that would be able to do it. And can anyone tell me who will be able to convert a contingent worker to an employee? Yeah, AB office manager, and so on. Right, so there are 199 of those security groups mentioned. So they will be able to convert a contingent worker to an employee. Right. And then there are a bunch of other tasks as well. You see, all of these tasks look the same. Hire employee. This one also is hire employee, right? That's why in a supervisory organization, when we go to the related actions, we see three or four different hire employee options. Right. And if you click on the first of them and the screen looks different. If you look at the, if click on the second one, the screen looks slightly different. It is because they are different tasks, right? Although all of them are named the same, but what are they all used for? Like. Let's look at the first hire employee. There is a description which says it selects from existing pre-hires and former workers or creates a new pre-hire and hires them into an open position. Okay, so this is this particular task, hire employee. Now there is another hire employee right here. It says selecting from existing pre-hires and former workers and hire into an open position also enables hiring from the related actions menu of a former worker job requisition, pre-hire supervisory organization, or an unfilled position. So if you are taking the related actions from the former worker, job requisition, etc., then this is the task that you should do, although it also the name is also hire employee right. And similarly, the other hire employee. Hire an employee directly from an employment agreement. This is again, from Workday Recruitment. Now, who is allowed to do that? Is anyone allowed to hire an employee directly from their employment agreement as part of this setup? What do you think? Is anybody able to do that? No, no, because this is empty right. There is no security group that is allowed to hire an employee directly from their employment agreement. Similarly, who is allowed to hire a student? And similarly here, we have another hire employee option which says search for pre-hires former workers, inactive students or inactive external students, and hire them into an open position. So this is also an another hire employee task. But thankfully, we don't have any security groups here.
If we had security groups here, then we would have seen multiple higher employee option. But here is. Here are again two more higher employee options, hire an employee from the related actions of the pre-hire, former worker, inactive student, etc. So all of these are different flavors of the higher employee task. It is there in multiple places. It is. I mean, it is some. Some of them are overlapping with each other. So why do we have so many higher employee tasks? It is because we may need to segregate what each section of the population can do right. What does the manager? What is the manager authorized? What is the recruitment partner? What is the recruiter authorized? What is the H? Our partner authorized to do? So for that, we may give them access to the different higher employee tasks. Some of most of it is similar, but there are subtle differences as well. Okay, so based on which one works for us, we will have to create the. We have to give the access. If all my hiring would be done by the recruiters, right, then I would give them only access to something at the top right here. Okay, and remove the access from the other areas. I'll keep it simple and less confusing, right? Okay. So this is about who can start now. Who can do action steps in the business process? Who can review an employee hire? Who can do the review step again? HR partner, HR analyst and some organization partners right? So these are some of the groups who can do it and who can do actions on the entire business process. The view, all view completed. Only approve, okay. Ad hoc, approve, cancel right. These are some things that will be common for all business process definitions. And you can include the security groups as part of this. Let's look at the termination business process. Okay, in the termination business process security policy, who can initiate the terminate employee task? You see, around 172 security groups have been given the authority to initiate the terminate employee. Now do we have the all employees somewhere? We don't have the all employees security group right. If we have the all employees security group, then there will be utter chaos because everybody will be authorized to terminate another employee right. We don't have that. We only have office managers, senior age are partners. Okay, managers, executives. We have those set of people who are authorized to terminate an employee. Okay that, and we have a bunch of HR partners that we are authorized to do that. Okay, now using a web service. Again, this is an integration. If you use an integration to terminate an employee, if you have to do a bulk termination, then these are the security groups. 163 of them are eligible or are authorized to terminate an employee. Okay, and then we have some other actions that terminate from, subject, resignation, terminate for review probation period. Import terminate employee. It's a background web service, okay. Terminate for review employee contract. So, again, these are some of the tasks that are available in the system and these are the security groups that are associated with it. Again, we have this section which says who can do action steps in the business process. This section, like I said, is common for all business process definitions, business process security policies. Sorry, it is common for all business process security policies. So we will configure certain groups as part of the security policy. Yes question.
no, okay, and how do we edit the security policy? We scroll down to the bottom edit permissions. Okay, we will edit the permissions and we can add or remove security groups as part of this domain, a business process, security policy permissions. If I want to remove AB Office Manager, I will remove that. If AB Senior H are partner, I will remove. Right, I wanted to remove this. I remove this and then I will click on OK. If I want to add someone to the security group, then I will go to this particular task, let's say. Let's say terminate from submit resignation. I want to have the HR partner the ability to do that. So I will say HR partner, okay, and there was, let's say, this one or there was this HR partner, am right. So let's use this and click OK. So now, what did I do? I added a security group to the business process security policy. All right, I added that, and then what should I do after I made a change? Activate. Right, I have to activate the pending security policy changes. Let me do that. All right. So now, after we make the change to the security policy, then we have to activate right activate pending security policy changes. So we do that and you will see that I have making a change. Let's say K fresh, okay, changed. Termination higher and termination. Business process security policies, right higher and termination policies. But I think we did not change the hire, we only changed the termination one. Click OK, we will find out. OK, it's reviewing the changes, what all has been done since the last change and it you see, only the termination business process type has been changed at such and such times. I will click OK, I confirm and OK, right. So it will activate the termination business process. Security policy changes that we have done.